I'm Joel Garner, the owner and operator of Joel's Carnivorous Plants, and this video is to explain and describe the growth cycle of the Venus flytrap. So most Venus flytraps that are that are bought and sold in the United States are being grown in tissue culture. They're not actually being grown from seed. And uh, this changes the way they grow a little bit. The, uh, the Venus flytrap, when it, when it grows from seed, it germinates from seed and it doesn't need to be cold stratified like some other carnivorous plants do. It can just be planted in a pot with wet moss, given good sunlight, and typically they'll, they'll germinate from that. When they first start growing, they make a, a uh, kind of short, lance-shaped leaf. It's a juvenile leaf that the Venus flytraps have. And they continue to make this pretty much up until the time that they experience their first dormancy. Once they experience their first dormancy, they then uh, begin to make winter-shaped leaves. Winter-shaped leaves are short, heart-shaped leaves with small traps. The traps often cannot function, they can't close, or if they can close, they will not digest anything. And uh, they actually look kind of like this. You can look, this is a heart-shaped leaf, and the winter leaves look kind of like that except smaller, and often the traps are even proportionately smaller compared to the leaf than this is. After they make that kind of a leaf, which they'll do when they're, they're dormant, they then begin to make spring leaves. Spring leaves look like this. Most Venus flytraps make their largest traps and leaves during the summertime. This particular clone, the V52, actually makes its largest traps and leaves ordinarily in August and September, which is not how most Venus flytraps are. And often what you'll notice when your plant is transitioning from the tall erect summer leaves to the shorter prostrate thin fall leaves, which I don't have an example of here, but they, they hug the ground, kind of like the spring ones, and they're just shorter and thin is that it looks like the plant is getting smaller, shedding its bigger leaves and only growing smaller ones. It's not actually dying. What it's actually doing is that the rhizome under the, the, the moss is actually beginning to swell like a potato. It's swelling with nutrients and carbohydrates and it's, the plant is actually getting ready for its winter dormancy. So during the whole fall season this rhizome swells underground. So the plant looks visibly smaller in the fall than in the summer but actually there's more plant mass underground that you can't see unless you dig it up. And that's what it uses to uh, save for, for the coming spring when winter ends because Venus flytraps are actually not tropical plants. They come from uh, North Carolina natively and they experience uh, slightly cold winters that, that uh, often go down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's a normal thing for it to experience when it's in its winter dormancy. And uh, like many other plants, they grow fall or spring to fall and go dormant in the winter.